the link in the description to come through to the Binance homepage. If you haven't got an account yet, I have other tutorials that show you how to sign up and get everything done. So I'll leave those in the description as well. But let's come through to withdraw our cryptocurrency first. We can come through to the wallet menu and then come down to Fiat and Spot to see all of the deposits that we have on account for both our Fiat currencies and our cryptocurrencies. You can show and hide your balances by clicking this toggle right here. But as we scroll down, we can see the balances for firstly our Fiats and then our cryptos. There's a few reasons why you'd want to withdraw cryptocurrencies from your account. The first one is you want to send it over to a different exchange so that you can trade that cryptocurrency versus some other cryptos that may not be supported on Binance. You can also withdraw cryptocurrencies from your Binance Exchange account and send them to other wallets, for example, mobile wallets or hardware wallets. Something like a Trezor One hardware wallet is quite low cost and has very good security. The process of transferring coins to any type of wallet, either a hardware wallet, a mobile wallet or another exchange is actually exactly the same though. So let's come down to see all of our cryptocurrency balances and they'll be listed here for you. You can sort them by the amount available or the total that you have of each coin. Go ahead and select a cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. So in this instance, I'm going to choose Bitcoin. Come and click on withdraw and then it will take us through to the withdraw screen. Binance actually gives you some very helpful tips which you can go through and make sure that you're doing the right thing. I'll just press done on these and show you step by step. Firstly, just choose the coin that you want to withdraw. You can even change it here and then you can go and see all of the coins that you have and you can even search for them. So ETH or BNB coin, anything that you have, you can search for here and select. You'll also see the total balance and the available balance that you have on account because you may have some coins locked away for staking. Then you have to enter the recipient's Bitcoin address in this bar here. If you want to withdraw to another exchange, I'll show you how to do that now. You can come to whatever exchange that you're using and come to the deposits tab. The menu system will be different depending on what app you use, but any exchange will have a deposit feature. So click on that one and then it will give you the address. I'll click on yes, acknowledge, and then I can get here, generate new address. Kraken, for example, creates many new addresses that you can use, but they will have a deposit address and this will be a Bitcoin address as well. You can simply come through and select and then copy this and then go back to your Binance withdrawal page and then paste this address into the recipient's address field. Then you have to choose the transfer network that you are going to make the transfer on. It's really important that this is exactly the same between the two accounts. If you use the incorrect network, then the coins will be lost. So we're going to choose the Bitcoin network for this one because that is what Kraken uses. Then you can go ahead and choose how many Bitcoin that you want to send. You can place any amount in here and then check the transaction fee and how many Bitcoin you will get at the end. There is always going to be a transaction fee for this because you always pay a fee to the network for processing the transaction. You can then click submit and that will be sent over to the recipient address that you have here, whether it's a Kraken Exchange account or a Coinbase account, a Trust Wallet or account or a hardware wallet like the Trezor one. If you come back to the exchange or the wallet that you're using, there is always an option to generate a QR code. If you have the Binance smartphone app, it's easy to scan this. You can come over to wallets, then click on withdraw. Then you can scroll around and see what coins that you own or search for them for a keyword here. I have some search history as well, so you can click on this. You then come through to the coin withdrawal screen and you can come and paste the address in the box or press this icon right here and that will go ahead, scan the QR code that's generated by the other wallet and input all of the information for you. Withdrawing fiat currencies is more or less the same. So you can come through to your wallet, click on fiat and spot, come and see all of your balances of the fiat currencies that you hold on your account and then come through to withdraw. If you're new to Binance or don't have an account yet, you do need to give over all of your information, including your ID documents to Binance if you want to withdraw fiat currencies. Your name on account with Binance absolutely must match the name on your bank account. This is what the Verify Details page should look like. So if you're in this screen, on the right hand side, there should be a Verify Your Info button and then you can go through all of the on-screen instructions. I'll leave a video in the description on how to actually sign up for an account with Binance but simply choose the fiat currency that you want to withdraw. So you can search for them all here. I will choose GBP. You can then choose the withdraw method. Come over to enter the amount. So how many that you actually want to withdraw. You can see the fee and how many that you will actually get. You can then go through and press continue and input all of the bank details that you want to withdraw the fiat currency to. 
If you've currently got cryptocurrencies and wondering how to actually transfer them into pounds sterling or US dollars to transfer them out into a bank account, you can come up into the trade section, click on convert, then you can simply sell your cryptocurrency and convert it into various fiat currencies here that are supported, US dollar and euros being one of them. If it isn't supported in the OTC portal, you'll have to come through to trade and advanced. You can then see all the markets supported by Binance for your fiat currency. Come up to the market that you want to sell. So I'll use Bitcoin as an example. I can then type in GBP. These are then all the Bitcoin pound sterling markets. I can trade Bitcoin against pound sterling. I can go and sell Bitcoin and I can see I can sell my Bitcoin for this many GBP and that will be deposited in my Binance account for me to transfer out. This will change of course depending on which currency that you actually want. And if you do want a more detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to actually trade, buy and sell cryptocurrencies and fiats on Binance, do check out the Binance playlist on the channel. Next, I wanna to come to something called whitelist addresses. And it's really important to add an extra layer of security onto your account. So once you do have an account, you can come up to your icon and then come down to security. You can whitelist a number of external addresses that you can send cryptocurrencies to. So if you have another exchange account on Kraken or Coinbase, if you use a wallet like Coinbase Wallet or Trust Wallet, you can put many of the cryptocurrency addresses in here by clicking manage, adding them and then giving them names. You can then click on the whitelist. This will mean that even if someone does hack into your account, they will only be able to send cryptocurrencies to whitelisted addresses. In order for anyone to change these addresses, they will have to go through a second authentication either via email or SMS message. I'd recommend turning this on just to increase the security of your account overall. There though are some withdrawal options from Binance for both cryptos and fiat currencies. Make sure to like and share this video if it was useful and subscribe to the channel for way more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.